my god, how are you guys feeling? Good, hell yeah, all right, different question. How are you guys feeling sexually? One woo, everyone else is like, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I am frustrated, I haven't had sex in like so long. <laughs> like I haven't had sex in so long, my hymen's grown back. <laughs> yeah, nature is healing, we are the virus. <laughs> Anyway, my name's Nina Oyama, it's lovely to meet you all. Nina Oyama, it's a pretty weird name, right? And people always ask me where it's from. And it's just very awkward explaining to people that I'm named after the Lion King. <laughs> yeah, you guys know that bit? It's like, um, Nina Oyama. <laughs> like, that's my actual name. <laughs> no, the reason I have a weird name is actually because I'm half Japanese. So my dad's Japanese and my mum is a lion. I know I don't look super Asian though, right? People always tell me, they're like, Nina, we don't even think of you as Asian. Like, it's a compliment. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> like, Asian people are really cool. And uh, if you don't believe me, just ask your one weird friend who's obsessed with Japan. <laughs> but uh, I know I look a little bit Asian, right? Because uh, about two weeks before COVID hit Australia, I got to experience a bit of early coronavirus racism. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually on a flight from Melbourne to Sydney and I had a bit of a cough and the people around me just started freaking out, right? Like the woman next to me, she starts covering her mouth with her scarf. The guy on the other side, he started covering his ears. I was like, I don't think that's how that works. Like I almost started covering my eyes so we could be like the three wise monkeys. Anyway, but being half Asian, people ask you really weird questions, right? Like upwards of three white guys have asked me if I have a yellow pussy. Yeah, the thing is like, I don't actually know. Like I'm not flexible enough to check. But if I was like, I wouldn't be at this party talking to white guys. Like I would be at home. Just licking myself out like a cat. I, uh, I recently came out to my parents as bisexual. Thank you for the applause. Uh, no, don't, everyone's bisexual. <laughs> but uh, I just wasn't planning to do it, you know? I was just like, I'll just pretend to be straight my whole life because um, that's what straight people do. <laughs> but uh, then I started wearing button-ups and going to slam poetry nights <laughs> and like clipping carabiners on shit <laughs> and uh, keeping my nails real clean. fingering <laughs> and I was like fuck it I'll just tell them uh, and my parents were fine well my mum was like at least you're not a lesbian <laughs> I was like ooh google it <laughs> and uh, my dad's Japanese so he didn't understand what I was saying <laughs> but it still counts it still counts I just think being bisexual is weird, right? I think being bisexual is weird. It's kind of like that tacos ad. You know, the one where they're like, should we have hard tacos or should we have soft tacos? Yeah, and this little girl comes along, she goes, por que no los dos? Which means, why like, can't we have both? And everyone lifts up on their shoulders and carries down. It's like a big party. That's what being bisexual is like. Um, except for no one carries you on their shoulders, right? Everyone kind of like throws you on the ground and is like, pick a fucking taco. <laughs> You little El Frico. <laughs> like you're probably just experimenting with soft tacos. <laughs> like you're probably really into hard tacos. <laughs> and like, don't get me wrong, like I love a good hard taco. <laughs> I love a good hard taco. It's just sometimes they can be emotionally insensitive <laughs> and like creepy. <laughs> and when you eat them, the sauce just doesn't taste very good. <laughs> Like at least with soft tacos, sometimes you eat them and then sometimes they eat you back. <laughs> All right guys, my name's Nina Oyama. Have a great night, everyone.